Hello everyone, welcome back to my little forest farm round three. Thanks once again to the comments, I've got some good new advice on how to do things so a few more changes are coming, gonna change the layout of things a little bit. But the one piece of good advice I'm going with right now is that the mushroom level drops by one floor in the mines every day so I'm gonna head straight there and see if that is true. If it is, I can make a lot of money today. Yesterday, I believe it was on floor 82, so if today it is on 81, that is a quick stop down from the elevator so I can really get some foraging experience. Also, I didn't bother to water my crop this morning. It can go a day without water, I'll still get the strawberry harvests I need to get, so that's not an issue. And it appears to be true. Here is only two mushrooms, but that is still two mushrooms more than I had when I started. So I'm just going to keep hitting floor 81 just like that and gather as many mushrooms as I possibly can in one single day. The other benefit of it being on floor 81 is it is a small layout. It is not one of those giant floors that winds through a bunch of different areas, so I can hit it very quickly, clean the mushrooms out, and start again. This is pretty much a best case scenario for gathering mushrooms. Alright, it's 12am, I've just spent the entire day gathering as many mushrooms as I could. As you can see, I got quite a few. There should be over 200 there by my guesstimation. Now, obviously, just gonna head back to my farm, throw those all in the bin, and watch the magic happen. Should be a lot of money, and hopefully I leveled up my foraging skill at least one time. That concludes the 18th. So my foraging leveled up to level 5, I'm going to pick gatherer, chance for double harvest of uh, foraged items, and foraging leveled up again to 6, so now I can make the fall seeds, beach totem, lightning rod, blah blah. So my total earnings for the day, 35,000 gold, obviously a lot more than anything I've got so far on this file. There's the breakdown of the mushrooms, as you can see, very valuable. And obviously the higher your foraging level, the more quality mushrooms you're going to get, and the more money you'll make from it. That was 35,000 gold even without any iridium quality mushrooms. And now I have the option of getting mushrooms in my cave, which I'm going to take. So every few days I'm going to go gather those. And those just give me money and experience again. And I now see the name change thing under skills. I'm now Huggy Cowpoke. That's due to your highest skill, I believe, or the last one leveled up. Something like that. So no more Huggy Bumpkin, at least not for now. Today I'm simply going to do my foraging route, run around, collect everything I can find, and then once the blacksmith opens, I'm going to get my axe upgraded because I want to start chopping hardwood. Once my axe is done its upgrade in a few days, I'm probably going to start on the pick. I want to get that upgraded because I want to spend more time in the mines. I want to, once again, locate the mushroom level. That way I can track it down till it's at a good level. One down from an elevator, and then hit it again on those days. The axe upgrade only costs 2,000 gold. That's easy at this point. And today I think I'm going to get my first barn started because I want to start getting pigs sooner than later because I want truffles sooner than later. And the basic barn costs 6,000 gold, 350 wood, 150 stone, all of which I have. I'm not really sure entirely where to place it. I don't know if I should place it on the dirt where it's going to take up room with the crops or on the grass where it's going to take up room for forageable goods. Luckily I can move it later so I'm just going to throw it right here for now and see how that works out. Luckily they are movable now so if it's in a stupid spot I can move it at a later date. So I'm going to start with that simple barn, get it upgraded all the way fully before I buy another one and make sure that it's filled with pigs and stuff like that. I've just bought a coffee bean from the traveling cart for a modest 2500 gold. I've never grown coffee yet since the new update so I'm going to start growing on right now because I believe they grow through spring and summer. Hopefully they'll still get me some profit, a single seed at 2500 gold, so we'll find out. And I am of course going to place my coffee seed on the edge of a sprinkler because as you know me, I don't like to manually water things very much. And I don't know why I just hoed all four sides of that, I only need one spot. That is going to conclude this day, on to the next one. I did make over a thousand gold from my foraging stuff, mostly from the beach stuff, but those two mushrooms certainly didn't hurt. It is the 20th of spring today, same basic strategy, except I actually have to water most of my crop today, so I'm going to do that, then do my foraging route, and see where I'm at at that point. I've also just realized that I have a few empty spots in my field here, so I'm going to fill those with sprinklers, the spaces I can anyway, to save me a little bit of watering. So I've just thrown my sprinklers out kind of just wherever, and they'll water some of the stuff. It's all good. When summer starts, I will reorganize my field so it actually makes sense. Now that I've been looking at my field for a second, I realized I probably should have put some speed grow or fertilizer under that single coffee bean. That was very stupid on my part. Normally I'm all about the fertilizer, so don't know what happened there. I'm just going to pretend it didn't happen and just happily harvest my coffee anyway. I've now forged myself all the way up to the mine. 
So now that I'm here and I have a little bit of time, I'm going to try and make it another five levels down. And if I do happen to hit the mushroom level quite soon, that would be okay. Once the mushroom floor hits level 81, apparently it jumps back up to somewhere between 80 and 120 randomly. Although I do have yet to personally verify that. It is 7.20 p.m. I've just hit floor 85. I'm actually going to go down maybe one or two more floors just to investigate in case I do hit the mushroom level. Okay, just before 11 a.m. I'm on floor 89 and I've hit the mushroom level here. That means tomorrow it will be on floor 88 and the day after 87 and continue all the way back down to 81 at which point I will hit it again. I might also do it on floor 86. Unfortunately I had to retreat at 12 a.m. I didn't hit floor 90 and the elevator which sucks. I just got overwhelmed by enemies. Not the end of the world though. And if my math is correct on the 23rd the mushroom floor will be on floor 86 which is one step down from an elevator. So I made 2700 gold today. Mostly in mushrooms once again, they're simply worth that much, a single visit, thousands of gold. The 21st today, pretty much the same strategy as yesterday really. Simply gonna do my foraging loop till I hit the blacksmith, pick up my upgraded axe, and then probably chop some hardwood. Unless I need the iron quality axe to do so, I'm actually not sure now that I think about it. My first harvest of cave mushrooms is ready. I'm not sure if I get foraging experience for this or not, I would think I do. Even if I don't, that's still easy money. Just picked up my fancy new copper axe. I know I said I was going to upgrade my pick once the axe was done, but since I need the pick in two days for the mushroom level, I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm going to hold out for that. Now that I've got my axe, I'm simply going to finish my foraging route back to my farm and then chop a bunch of wood for experience and hardwood. I'm not actually entirely sure if you get experience from chopping these stumps. It might have to be these guys over here that you need an iron axe to actually do, so not really sure, but either way it's getting me some hardwood which I'm going to need anyway for things like tappers and building upgrades. It is 3.10pm, I've cleared out all the stumps on my farm, so now I'm simply going to head to the forest to the south to chop down every tree I can find there simply for the experience. And the wood never hurts either, I'm going to need lots of wood for my new upgrades, for my new barn and stuff like that. I've just acquired yet another coffee bean from the traveling merchant. Still not entirely sure why, I just kind of want to grow them. So tomorrow I'm going to buy some fertilizer for that bad boy and plant them up. Also I chopped down a bunch of trees down there, I'm just about out of energy so I'm going to call it a day. Tomorrow my new barn should be done so I can start filling it with pigs. Just under a thousand gold today, that's still not bad considering all I do is wander around and pick stuff up. Now that it is the 22nd, my strawberries, my first harvest, is ready to go along with some of my other assorted crops. So the crops are all watered and in the bin and here is my new barn. We'll take a very quick look at that. That's the inside in case you haven't seen one before. Now it's simply going to be my foraging route back around to the farm uh, to the south, Marnie's farm, to buy some pigs. This wood, it's important to note, grows back every day. I chopped that all yesterday, so there is lots of stumps and hardwood available for me. I wasn't sure if that would grow back every day or not. I'm assuming by the emptiness of this place that Marnie's isn't actually open on Mondays. It is 9, 10 a.m. now and no one's here, so yeah. No pigs today, I guess. That's all right, I will get them another day. I also just remembered I don't have a silo to store the grass for feed for them. But I think as long as their door is open and they can get outside, they feed themselves out in the grass in the field. If someone wanted to clarify that for me, that would be great. I know in my other file, I haven't fed them in like 30 years and they're still going strong, so not sure what to make of that. I've just bought my single basic fertilizer for my single coffee seed. And of course, I just remembered that I probably had leftover fertilizer in my bin or I could have just made it out of two saps. That slipped my mind, whatever. The coffee will start growing today and that's that. After I get my single bean planted I'm simply going to spend the rest of my day chopping wood because I really want to try and level up one more time in anticipation of the mushroom level tomorrow. Because the higher my foraging skill the more quality mushrooms I will find and the more money I will make. And seeing as I'm unsure if those stumps give me any experience or not I'm just not going to worry about them today. I'm just going to go chop trees in the forest to the south. That should easily occupy the rest of my day because it's already 1 p.m. It is about 10.30 p.m. I've just chopped down pretty much every tree I could find. I'm about out of energy and time, so I'm going to call it a night. I haven't quite leveled up again, but I figure that after a few mushrooms tomorrow, I should level up sooner than later and therefore find more good quality mushrooms, hopefully even a few iridium quality. 
and we'll see if we made any money today. So there's 2600 from the strawberries and another few hundred from the foraging stuff. There's the numbers. Not too bad. Today will be better. Here's a few things I can harvest real quick. Now it's going to be straight to the mines to hopefully find that mushroom level. I think the crop can handle one more day without water. I think I will still get all the harvests I should. Okay, it turns out I made a little bit of a miscalculation. I thought floor 85 was one of those floors with nothing on it and a simple ladder down to floor 86. As you can see, it is not. It is a full floor with all sorts of rocks and monsters, so it's going to be time consuming to drop that one extra floor to get to the mushroom level. And I don't think the mushroom floor can actually spawn on a floor with an elevator on it, so I think it's going to skip 85, so I might have to wait till it's all the way down to 81 to hit it again. So I think for this day, I'm simply going to harvest this floor once, maybe twice, and then go ahead and buy some pigs. My foraging skill has just leveled up to level 7, so whatever I find now should be a little bit higher quality than it was yesterday. Here's the mushroom level for the second time today, so I'm just going to clear it out and then I'm going to go get some animals, maybe upgrade my barn and blah blah blah, we'll kind of see what happens. So I'm simply going to stop in here at the carpenter shop to see what it is going to cost. Nope, I'm not, they're not here today. I was going to check to see what it costs to upgrade my barn one more time, but that's not a big deal for now. I don't think I can afford enough pigs to fill it anyway. So the pigs are going to be my priority, and that's where I'm headed right now. Okay, so I'm here on the 23rd now, and it is closed for the day too. So either I'm timing this wrong, or it's just closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Not really sure what to make of that. I'm sure I'm just overlooking some simple detail. Anyways, I'm just going to do my foraging loop then, and then head back and water my crop, I guess. Then probably just chop some more wood and hardwood. Crop is watered, stuff is in the bin, so yeah, simply going to spend the rest of this day chopping wood again. 7pm and I'm running out of energy and just tired of chopping wood in general, so I'm going to throw some stuff in the bin and call it a night. Not quite the day I had anticipated for the 23rd. Chopping my hardwood stumps has given me 16 more hardwood. That's actually not bad if I can produce 16 hardwood off my farm every day. My farming has upgraded to level 3 thanks to what I threw in the bin. There's all the stuff you get with that. My foraging also leveled up. Can make the winter wild seeds, axe proficiency, all that good stuff. Still made about 6,000 gold today, mostly in the mushrooms. Hit the floor twice. Good stuff. But that's going to be it for this video, the 24th of spring today. Next video, we should finally see some pigs and hopefully some truffles and lots more mushrooms if I do things correctly. Things will change as I move into summer, so be prepared for that. Hope you liked this video and if you did, check out my channel, all sorts of other videos in there and new videos up almost every day. As always, thank you all for watching, keep it up with those good tips, they're really making this whole thing work. I'm just doing my best to screw it up.